It's Glory from Bike Camp. Welcome back to our Villager Dungeon Nightmare platformer game series in Gido. Last time we created a scene for our level 2, but it's really empty right now. Remember back in our level 2 intro video, there's an entire world made of bricks and lava tiles. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a tile map for our bricks and how it's going to work is that I'm going to be separating the bricks picture into individual tiles and as well as giving them a collision box so the villager can actually bump into the bricks and not simply being able to pass right through them. There's a couple of steps to do it, so let's jump right into it. All right, back inside Gido. Hold on, this isn't the great empty level two scene I was just talking about. Well, when we open up Gido to edit, Gido automatically opens the main scene, which in this case is the starting screen. So to open up the empty level 2 scene, I need to go over to the top left hand corner and click on scene and go down to open scene, double click on my level 2 scene, and voila! Here's my grey empty blank level 2 scene. And now I need to add in the tile map for the bricks. So under scene, add a new child node, I need to look up tile map, and I'm going to rename it to bricks. Now over to the inspector, I need to click on empty and new tile set, click on tile set, and at the bottom, the tile set menu should pop up. I need to drag in my bricks into this gray box, so left click and drag it in, and now it's in. To make a single tile, I need to click on new single tile, and next to the mouse pointer under region, I'm going to click on this magnet looking thing. and. As you can see, a grid pops up. To make these grid squares the same size as my brick tiles, I can select any of these squares. And now to the inspector on the right, I need to open up my snap options. So click on snap options. And as you can see over here at the step, it's right now size 32 by 32. And each of my tiles are 100 by 100. So I need to double click to change the 32s to 100. Now, as you can see, the squares are now much bigger and fit my tiles. Re-click on the square, and as you can see, this yellow outline indicates that you have now made this a tile. And to make the rest of these tiles, I need to do the exact same thing. Click on new single tile, and click on a grid square, and so on. Use single tile, click on a square. And now to actually add a collision box so that the villager actually bumps into the bricks, I need to click on collision next to the region. And to make my life so much easier, I'm going to click on this square and click on a tile. Do the same with the other one. I don't need to hit collision again, so I need to press on the square, double click on this tile next to it. And the next one, click on the square, double click. Click on the square, double click. There we go. As you can see, the blue square covers the entire tile. That means the collision box is the size of the entire brick. And now if you click on bricks inside the node tree, on the right next to the inspector, here are the four bricks. And there you have it. We now have the building blocks to build our world. In the next video, we're going to go over how to place these tiles into your workspace viewer. So make sure to check out the next video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.